hello again everybody today I got a little different video um, I have this ex I have this extra diesel heater and I was kind of thinking all right diesel puts out a lot of heat and I was thinking now the burn chamber itself this is the area that gets really hot and especially at the end here so what I'm wanting to do, the, the flame is already directed this way. So what I'm going to do is I want to see if I can make a torch from this diesel heater. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to drill a hole in the end of this burn chamber right here. And we're going to put a pipe coming straight out of that. This little heater's coming apart really easy. Take the cap off. Take your wires out like that. And there is the actual diesel heater. That's all that it really consists of. Now what we're going to do is right here on the end, you can see it's almost like they mark it for you. There's an X right here. That's right where we are going to put our hole to extract our heat. To do that, I am going to be using a step bit. And that way, when I get all the way down, I should be able to drill the hole out to fit in between all of these fins. So let's just do that. All right, so I had a little video problem there, or a camera problem. Uh, I forgot to charge the battery up all the way, so it ran down right in the middle of when I was drilling the hole. But got the hole drilled, and actually I went through all this and <laughs> showed every step. But anyway, um, got the hole drilled. I put a pipe in the hole, and I welded around it. I even took and I even painted it. I know it'll probably burn the paint off, but this is just a piece of black plumbing pipe. And I think it is ready to be tested. Now you can kind of see I've got everything hooked up. So you've got your power coming from the drill battery and that's hooked up through the original wiring harness of the heater. And you can see we got diesel in here. And it comes up, and you'll notice there are two fuel pumps. This is a car fuel pump because it was not delivering enough fuel to really make it burn. I actually kind of tried it a little bit. And all I could do was just get it to light off, and it would just barely, uh, there would be some flame coming out, but not much. This is an igniter for a grill. And actually, once this ignites, once you push this and, and it has done the igniting, it continues to have a connection. So what I've got is I've got this ran through here. Here it turns this fuel pump on. And this one is the one that moves a lot more fuel. Once it starts pumping fuel in, that should start a higher speed combustion in here. And we should be able to use our torch. Okay, so you can probably hear the, it makes the same sound that the diesel heater normally used to make, except for the sound is coming out of here and it's hot. Once I press this button, this is going to turn on the, I may change hands here. It's going to quit. Okay. Now, once I press this button, then we're going to have the hot gases coming through here. I'm not going to leave it go long because I'm afraid that it will melt this hose. Let's just see what we've got here. All right. One, two, three. I don't know what just happened. Uh, that was interesting. It seems to be producing some thrust. I think uh, this hose is getting hot already. I think 
I've got another idea of what I can do with this. All right, so as you can hear in the background, the regular heater part is, is already running. I have this strapped down to the four-wheeler. I figure this will give me an idea of how much thrust we're getting. I've got an idea for this if I am getting as much thrust as I think I am. Uh, kind of exciting, really. <laughs> but, all right. Have our rocket nozzle right here. I'm calling it a rocket nozzle now instead of a torch, I guess. But it is coming out here right close to where the fuel cap is. I mean, I'm sure that's safe. And uh, pointing this way, so any thrust should push the four-wheeler and might be able to have an engine for the four-wheeler. I don't know. But let's give this a try and just see what happens. Now, I'm going to try to stand out of the way so you can see the, the thrust coming out of here. So, here we go. One, two, whoa. Uh, I guess it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay, so here is the homemade jet pack. And you can see I've protected all the wires with wire loom so that they won't get caught or uh, chafed or anything. Uh, I've eliminated the propane tank because I found out I don't really need that. It doesn't help anything. I do have my button ran down to the end of this so that I can ignite it. And I've got my arm loops here. And I have an extra ratchet strap that I'm going to wrap around me. And wrap all around. That way um, I can tighten it up on myself and... Don't have to worry about the whole thing coming off. It's all securely fastened. It doesn't move at all on there. It's all securely fastened onto it. And uh, I think it will hold together. So all we got to do now is we've got to go and test this thing out. Well, right close to the house there, there's way too many trees and other obstacles, hillsides and such, that I could have uh, hit, <laughs> basically. Anyway, I decided it would be best to bring the whole thing up to the uh, trail ride to test it out. Now, you may notice this is not what I'm saying on the camera because... Uh, up at the trail ride, the wind was so bad that there was no audio worth using at all. You can tell it's even shaking the camera because it's uh, so windy out. Probably the best day I could fly. Um, anyway, you see I have my action cam strapped to my chin. I have the pack strapped onto my back. I have a ratchet strap around my waist. And it's kind of wrapped up around my back. And everything so hopefully I'm safe enough and maybe it won't fall off anyway I've got my trigger and I'm gonna try it out y'all wish me luck
this clip I'm just kind of saying that uh, this was a pretty successful test and as you can tell by my clothing it uh, went pretty well all right with all the wind outside uh, I just figured I'd record this outro from inside the truck well there you go I got a fun toy to play with now at least uh, I got a take a few flights in it to really get the hang of it I mean uh, it's kind of rough on shirts and pants and stuff but uh, I think I'll get it after a while uh, I think it uh, I think that's going to shorten my commute to work considerably so that's going to make it where I can get to work in about five minutes so that'll be nice I really wouldn't recommend anybody else building a jetpack like this i mean i can think of like three different reasons one it's dangerous uh two i don't know about the legality of it i don't know what the laws are for a jetpack i don't even know if they have any but uh it may be illegal oh and, there, and there's one other reason you probably shouldn't do it I, I mean i think it's a pretty good reason it's because it's an april fools and it's impossible so probably shouldn't do it.